throughout the years, the Socket AM4 has delivered a really wide range of CPUs. One of the CPUs you might not be really aware of as part of the CPU family of AM4 CPUs is the Atmon X4 950. And to be honest, we are not really to be blamed about not knowing about these Atmon CPUs, as even the motherboard manufacturers removed support for these CPUs in recent BIOS updates. But what actually was the Atmon X4 950 and the whole 900 series of Atmon CPUs? Released all the way back in 2016, it was originally meant to only feature in the OEM pre-built systems, but a couple of months later, it made its way to the retail stores, and 6 years later, I was able to acquire one for a price of $8 on AliExpress. The CPU has a lot more in common with the X4800 series than it has with the Ryzen CPUs that came after it on the same socket. So, as you might have heard of the Atmon CPUs not really performing the best in the previous generations, let's see what the X4950 can offer in late 2022. Cinebench R20, the Atmon doesn't really shine in the multi-core test, falling behind quite a lot to the i5-2500, getting a score which much more resembles a Core i3 third generation rather than an i5. On the single core performance, it gets much closer to the legendary i5, still the i5 beats it by a noticeable margin. Not really a great start for the X4950. Before moving on to the gaming benchmarks, I forgot to apologize for not the greatest quality of gameplay videos, as I didn't set up my capture card correctly. It is what it is, it should do the job. Starting with AC Valhalla, we can see the Atmon struggling to deliver 30 FPS, with many stutters along the way with quite a lot of frame drops. From my experience, the performance resembles the one of the i3-2120, and even that was able to deliver somewhat of a smoother experience. If you don't have a decently powerful CPU, the Mafia remake won't really perform that well, and that's exactly what we are seeing here. Usually, the RX 570 doesn't have a problem running the game with a stable 45 FPS on average on the same settings, but with the X4950, it once again turns it to a really bad experience. And I will once again mention, this reminds me more about the older 2-core 4-threaded i3's performance, and makes it even worse. Seems like the similarities to the previous generation Atlons aren't only visible on paper. Far Cry 6 is a game that is more stressful on the GPU side of things. Sadly, the Atlon X4950 disagrees with that, cutting the RX 570's performance in half and once again providing frame rates below 30, accompanied with stutters and all the other nice features you get while gaming on the Atlon X4. Dynelight 2 is one game where you can get a bit of a positive experience with the X4950, with the frame rates staying around 30 more often than not. Yet again, stutters and drops are inevitable, like we are used to it by now with the Atmon X4. Like the rest of the previously tested AAA titles, Elden Ring is in the sub-30 FPS region, offering FPS far away from playable territory, and it only gets worse if you lower the settings, as that would put more stress on the CPU and cause more drops, so you get the idea. The X4950 offers poor performance in newer AAA titles, across all games tested. The only thing remaining is to see whether the Atmon can handle an older masterpiece like The Witcher 3, and to my surprise, it was actually able to provide very decent frame rates, with the RX 570 hovering around 100% of usage quite a lot. So the X4950 does have some positives after all, they are just not visible in the most modern titles of recent times. Once again, excuse me for the terrible video quality of the gameplay. I hope you could get some valuable information out of them even with lower quality. After all the benchmarks I have done, I can only say it's honestly better that the Atlon X4 series has found its conclusion. They were never quite competitive with the Intel counterparts in the first place. As for the X4 950, it kind of seemed like AMD had some leftovers from the 800 series of Atlon X4s and didn't want to throw anything away. So that may be how the X4 950 was created. There's also an X4 970, which should be somewhat more powerful than the 950, but at this point in time, when entering 2023, these CPUs may be just okay for a relatively modern, very cheap office machine, but not much more than that. Just get an used Ryzen 3 1200, which will demolish the Atom in all aspects. Thank you very much for joining me on this review. I hope to see you in my next one as well. Okay.